Welcome to another episode of the Coral Island series, and we just got finished talking to Mark about the caverns opening up. I'm now going to water our crops because I forgot to do that last time, which has resulted in these not being ready when they should have been. I'm going to... let's see... There's Jack. I forgot that opens the um, stores. I always think that you move it by clicking the right button, but that opens up that thing. I feel like we should go see what the cavern's about. It is still mind-boggling how many people we have not met. There's some chunky cows and llamas, and I'm not entirely sure what that creature is. So many creatures. I don't feel like there were creatures here the last time. Hi, Kenny. I've been doing a lot of breathing exercises since pufferfish revealed themselves. They make me angry, and I don't like being angry. That's fair. Is it just me, or does everything feel quieter around here? Yeah? You'd get that for being a tiny island. <laughs> so I think this must be the cavern they were talking about. We did hear sword fighting the last time we were in the area, so I bet it was the Band of Smiles they called themselves. I did not see that bug. Oh, there it is. If I could get it if I moved further away. Let's see if I can do this. I got it. I read Admiral. Nice. Alright, let's see what this is about. Oh, wow. This is quite the location. Doesn't seem safe. Get back, get back. You, the weak looking farmer, get back. Get back from the monster. Wait a minute. Where are all the monsters? Uh, I didn't see any. <laughs> well, Mark and I did clean out the upper levels. But that quake. Hmm. That shaking happens right as you entered, right? Yeah. Hello, monsters. There's an old myth about certain curses reacting to a presence, but that can wait. My name is Kira. I assume you're the new farmer. Yeah. Being a farmer and all, you're probably here to do some mining. In that case, only the earth shaft is currently accessible. The elevator over there works, but only down to the first floor. I figured it, was, it looked quite elementally based. From here, you'll have to descend by foot. If you go down deep enough, you can restore access to other floors. You've definitely come to the right place for mining ores and gems. These caves have them aplenty. Just don't forget, they have monsters too. I really thought that would have been the earth symbol. So it looks like a leaf to me. Take this sword. You'll need something to defend yourself with. It's a long descent, so make sure you're well supplied. Be careful down there and good luck. A new quest. Reach uh, level 5 of the earth shaft. Take the elevator back. Uh, turn it back on. Okay. Uh, I feel like perhaps this should be in our hotbar. Oh, we can have buffs and equipment. Cool. Grab our sword and head in. Ooh, cool. We get elemental. Does that happen to all of them? No. I wanted to know what elements each one represented. Site to floor. Okay, first please. Here we are. Sword not in hand. Back in hand. Alright, let's... Uh, I don't see any enemies, so I guess we can get to mining. Can we just pick up this coin? No. Already full. I had a flower so I could pick up this rock. <laughs> Interesting. Can we... No. Unless it's this. Aha! It was that. Interesting. So I wonder how we would venture down deeper. Unless it's a way to get up there. And that takes us deeper. Uh, or it's like other um, games where you... Uh, 
cannot turn on. Need torch. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, where you have to dig your way down. But for now, I think I want to use the elevator to return. See what I can do about getting more inventory space. Because good lord. Scott. Ah, I didn't get anything valuable today. That's annoying. I didn't either. I got a rock. But at least I got a good workout in the cavern. I'm so sore. I've been lifting a lot lately. Can you tell? Uh, I've known you a day, so... Nope. Can't tell a difference. Oh my god, what's all this garbage? Oh. God. I think that this needs handled a little better. Is this a building we can go in? No. Inspect. You can't use the recycling center. Boy do I wish. Get this place cleaned up. Wait, is that the salon? It's open? Ooh, let's go see. I kind of assumed it was something you'd have to unlock. Uh-huh. Tired puppy. Taco is busy. I see that. Lovely place. Hello. Erica. Hey you. Is this our new neighbor? Going around town, hey? Have you been to the tavern yet? I honestly can't remember. Frank is there all the time. Have you two met? Uh... Sure. Oh, he's my husband. You know what? You should stop by our house sometime. Frank will cook us dinner. Gosh, that sounds wonderful. Yes, you can tell us your story. Oh my god, can I look at... <laughs> it kind of looks like we have not met him. Oh no, here. This guy. I remember seeing him around. God, we have so many people still. I imagine this is one of them. Sorry. Oh, the new neighbor. So someone really was moving into town, huh? I couldn't believe it until I saw you myself. I am here. I don't often go to the, the part of the island where your farm is. It was overgrown the last time I visited. What a disaster. How is it so far? It's a, still a disaster. That has not changed. No, don't. Okay. Can I get my hair cut? Welcome, player name. <gasps> I'm such a sucker as soon as there are braids involved, because that's pretty much how I always have my hair. Oh, that's pretty. That's cute. Hair's so shiny. I love it. What does this do? Oh, see? I see. <gasps> Don't do this to me. No! I can't afford it. <laughs> I want the new hair so badly. Not as much as I want a backpack, though. Have I been in the clinic? Hello, you. Charles. Fiber Knox, need any vitamins? Don't shame a man for trying to sell his products, Knox. <laughs> vitamins help you and they help me at the same time. I don't know what you're talking about. Doesn't sound shady to me at all. I don't think it's shady. Are you okay? You look flushed and sweaty. I recommend a dose of medicine. For what? <laughs> That one sounded way shadier than offering vitamins. Jasmine and citrus would be amazing. There's a chicken. Some bit chicken. <laughs> this must be like a children's office and like a more um, intensive kind of situation. It smells like a burrito. Oh, the bag. <laughs> We're looking at the windows. It's a nice view of the boat. See, that's what I thought, is I'd get something about the windows, not about the bag. <laughs> what boat, though? Here, we have a boat. <laughs> and garbage. Can I pick it up? Excuse me, who's littering? Could you please stop? Wow. That's amazing. The kitchen looks too clean. Is that a bit judgmental? I can't imagine. <laughs> I'm terrible at keeping my kitchen clean, but I cook a lot, so that's part of the problem. The inscription has some mermaid-looking symbols. Hmm. The pot is still hot. She must have just brewed the tea. Oh, what do we have here? That is a very shiny, very empty teapot. Shouldn't go in. That room looks amazing, though. Like, look at all those lanterns and stuff. 
Ah, it became night while I was out. Hey, you must live in this boat. Hi. Zara? A new farmer in town. You moved here after the oil spill? Huh. I'm Zara. So you run. Noah. Karen should be glad that mom is okay. If something were to happen to mom, I would... Yeah? If you have time, try some food and drinks. They're the islanders' favorites. They also make great gifts. Oh. It's an easy way to win people over, you know. This must be his mom. Um, she was talking at the um, puffer fish thing. I keep telling my sons I'm fine. I got a little worked up because of Karen. That's all. Mayor Connor put me in charge of the town's decoration and landscaping. I like doing it, but it's a lot of work. Thankfully, I have Pablo to help. Oh, it looks lovely. Now that I have a lot of free time on my hands, I can finally give back, give back to the community. Off to sleep. So that I can uh, get our crops and then go to the store. I did sell some flowers. Alright, off to you get our crops and harvest that can we yes okay let's get these all harvested and they're not ready get them watered then do we have more seeds in here no not that i can tell and we have a journal to claim. Oh nice, a hundred. Might help us get a backpack. So that's got water. Let's head into town. I don't know if you can sell your turnips in town or not. Hey, we got a cutscene. Hey there Nox, it's good to see you here. I'm just heading to Raj's coffee. Are you out socializing? Uh, kinda? Let's go, yes by the way, what's with the pufferfish scene? Ah, the scene, yeah. It's easier if I show you. Okay. Let's head to the community center and chat there. My coffee can wait. Alright. I don't know if we've been in here yet or not. Looks nice, though. A big F. See that big ol' F on the town rink? Yeah, that's us. It didn't happen out of the blue, though. This room used to be the pride and joy of our town, proudly displaying, displaying Scarlet Town's A rank trophy. An A, Knox. Sometimes we got a B, but it was never an F. Until. Ah, uh, this man's gonna have to sit down to tell you what happened. Some time ago, the whole town was in. That's correct, Mayor. As usual, every season we start by looking at why people visit Scarlet Town. We can report that visitors come here to see your museum, the heritage sites, and the ocean. The town rank we award is based on the conditions of these things at the time. For some reason, S's and H's are very hard for me to say with all of these. I uh, have like a temporary bridge of teeth, and for some reason, it makes it very hard to speak. <laughs> Uh, specifically for us, this is an H's, though it's something I've kind of always struggled with. A review. Oh. <laughs> Today we're awarding Scarlet Town with a rank of... An F. Big ol' F. Say what? Nope. Karen? Hello? Listen, prepare all the necessary documents and equipment. I found the perfect location. Last year, an oil spill from the neighboring island made its way here and wreaked havoc. Everything went downhill from there. Karen was there at the town rink hearing. They've been watching us this whole time, those conniving pufferfish people. You heard what she said the other day about the new pufferfish building. Their plan to bail us out is to rebuild Scarlet Town as an oil town. Just the thought of abandoning our legacy, the museum, the ocean, the heritage sites, it's hard to accept. On the other hand, thinking about our town going under is harder. 
Our town used to be good, Knox. Great, even. Business was booming. Town, it was lively. I'm afraid that unless we can increase the town rank back to an A and regain the trust of visitors, we'll have no choice but to work with Pufferfish. Refilling the museum seems straightforward and more than possible. It will just take some time. But healing the sick heritage sites and getting rid of those stubborn roots in the ocean. Where do we start? How do we even start? Our town is in a tough position. It's a lot to take in, I know. How about you join me to get coffee? The walk and fresh air will do us both some good. Alright. Oh, glow and rock. Looks like maybe petals. Is everything alright? Uh, yeah, besides um, seeing things, we're great. Though I do think you need to clean the floor right there. Okay. So, my first priority is getting a backpack. But they're close till nine. So I guess we might as well check the museum and the community center? Oh, a fish! Black phantom ghost fish. It is quite uh, empty. That is a really cool layout, though. <laughs> Disgruntled. And sad. Nope. They haven't magically returned. Is this Scott? I forgot to look at the name. Yes. Oh, hello there. You're Nox, right? I'm sorry you caught me at a bad time, but... Just look at this. It's so empty. My life's work. I'm sorry. What are you talking about? Let's go. I'm sorry. Thanks, Nox. I worked so hard to fill the museum. Well, it wasn't completely filled up, but at least it's not- it wasn't empty like this. Not gonna lie, when Millie told me the town was going to sell all of our collection, I was furious. It's not a feeling I'm used to. The one thing I was good at that made me feel useful is going to be taken away from me? I couldn't stand it. But deep down, I knew the town really needed the extra fund to clean the oil spill. There wasn't much I could do about it. So I went back to my folks to cool down and think about what I was going to do next. That's when I realized I had two options. I'm going to con am I going to continue the pity party or I'm going to rebuild the museum's collection now that the town is in an in, in immediate crisis. That's right, I'm going to rebuild the collection. By the way, Nox, I've heard some things about you. People tell me you're good at finding things. Now, I'm not too bad at it myself, but I can certainly use that skill of yours. If you find anything interesting, why don't you bring it over? Sounds like a lot of work. Um, can I bring anything? Not anything, anything. We have a list of items we want to display. Things like historical artifacts, fossils, creatures, sea creatures, and so on. Just drop by whenever and we'll see if there's anything in your bag that can be displayed in the museum. So what do you say, Knox? Want to help me fill the museum with the treasures of the island? Sure. That's what I like to hear. At least it'll give us a way to get some stuff out of our inventory. Alright. We have a new quest. Ooh, we can put our trash fish in. And our bug from yesterday. I think we have a couple more bugs at home as well. I am sad they won't take flowers though. I wonder what those are for. Uh, journal. Ooh, even more money. Nice. Oh, there's so much stuff back here. That is quite the fossil. I don't- I feel like that should be being taken care of and, like, processed officially so it doesn't get damaged or something. Ooh, our bug's down there. Let's see. It's right there. I don't see our fish, though. Oh, there he is. I wonder if this is, like, fresh and salt. That's probably the difference. Ooh, there's a lot of to this uh, building. We've got a hanging piano. Yeah, Seems broken. Oh no. Oh, the library. You're missing something. Namely, the books. 
Millie! I was just thinking, um, when we were looking at that scene of all the people, she was standing near the bottom. I was like, I don't think I've seen her yet. Yes, Nox? I've been meaning to meet you. My name is Millie. I'm so excited to have people moving in. Have you met everyone? No, apparently not. So we can donate books here. I wonder where we'll find books. Oh, there's one. Don't know why you need someone working here, though. There's no, um, <laughs> books. That is a lot of literate children! Uh, oh, hey, Mark. Band of smiles. The birds are back. They're very calming. That's, that's good. People here seem to like spring weather. They talk about it a lot. I think that's just how people do. This is cool. Oh, and there's stairs somewhere. Maybe to an area where they keep more pets? I guess it's to watch over the kiddos is why she's here. Archie, are you really the new person? Dad said you were a farmer. Is that right? What kind of farming tools do you have? Most of them? Okay, I believe you. Why don't you look like a farmer though? What's a farmer look like, Archie? My uncle Surya is new too. Just like you. And then we've got Valentina. Hello, Miss Knox. Nice to meet you too. Uh, I'm Valentina. Um, yeah, it's real fun here. You get to fly kites and build snowmen in the winter. I'm a little surprised that this island gets snow in the winter, but no, oh, our budget. Probably shouldn't be out and about. Uh, this is Coral Island, and that's the pier. Wheelchairs? Yeah, free uh, wheelchair rental. That's nice. Don't know what this area is, but it's nice. Just kind of some pillows. Join yoga Saturday with Leah. Scan for free yoga videos. Like and subscribe. The only time I've ever said that and it's not even in the context of my own video. <laughs> Alright, the store should be open. Yoga! Somebody's birthday's tomorrow, but we don't even know them. <laughs> oh, a little taco. Let's see. Let's go to the shop. I'd like to upgrade my bag, please. For the love of God. Thank you. <laughs> There's no use wasting your energy on being angry at Pufferfish Court. It's better to redirect that energy into something more productive. That's the best price I can give you. I should check up on Betty. Gotta make sure she's alright. She was, like, so upset at the Pufferfish meeting. Hi, do I know you? Pablo! Have you seen Pufferfish? Oh no. School's important. I'm glad we get to keep the school going on such a small island. Talked to Randy about it, and he told me it isn't easy to keep the education budget flowing. I mean, it, it's not anywhere, unfortunately. We have space in our backpack now. Look at that. Two whole rows. <laughs> Hello? Ah. Hello? I don't think we've met this one. Ah, the new resident. Hello? My ex told me about the grandchild of some farmer moving back in. Must be you. See you around. It's kitties. Got butter. And peanut. Is that a bug? I think it is. Alright. We can do this. That's what I thought. I think that's the one we already turned in. We catch the lizard. Run little lizard. I didn't run. Confidential little lizard. I think I'm going to spend some time working in the fields and stuff here. Kind of hoping for some seeds or something. I can't remember where we got those. I got some compost. Oh, some more. What's this do? Oh my god. It's quite the view. A lot of garbage though. I wonder what's that way. Currently I'm working to try to get as much of the garbage out as I can. Alright, got quite a bit of garbage picked up. None that you can see from like the main walkway, so that's gonna be nice. Um, I'm starting to feel tired, that's fine. Quick transfer all of that. We'll need to take these guys to the um, museum. 
Ooh, it says whether it's donated or not. So then it must say if something is donatable. So that's good to know. Uh, I feel like we should probably sell some of the turnips. I also sold this guy. Let's keep like five, I guess. So if I put him in my inventory, he does say he's donated. Okay. That'll give us a little bit of money. That'll be nice. Set to bed. I'm not stepping out because last time it triggered something. Oh, we leveled up our farming. More, we've got skill point, more energy. We can now make a scarecrow and fertilizer. And we made a uh, 300 coin. That's nice. Dang it. <laughs> oh, I think maybe it's saying, can you hear me? You hear a voice, but you can't make it what's being said. Nox. Try to focus on my voice. Good. Now listen closely. Wow. Sacred trees. Please visit any one of them. Find them around the island. Wow, oh, it's so bright. <laughs> okay. More glowing stones. This music is very pretty. Touch the tablet to summon them. They will open your eye. You are my hope to heal the island. Now wake up and go, Nox. It's so pretty. Had a strange dream last night. Uh, not so strange that I don't add the uh, thing to my journal, though. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We've looked at the museum and the community center, got a new backpack, went into the mines briefly. Curious to explore that more once we have the backpack space. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.